We're going to court, not a real courtroom, a reality TV courtroom. BR sat down with the star of the new show, You the Jury. It's premiering on Fox. Former Superior Court Judge LaDoris Cordell spoke to us. Take a look. Most people know her as one of Northern California's first African-American female judges, but LaDoris Cordell is many things. A composer and pianist, a sketch artist, and she's about to be a reality television star. Court is now in session. You're next. Objection. Overrule. Your live vote decides the verdict. Welcome to the new face of American justice. The show is called You the Jury. I mean, you're used to being in a courtroom. Here you are on, on a stage with a studio audience, with lights, with these lawyers thundering at each other. What was it like just being in that atmosphere? Yeah, it, it was awesome. I mean, it's <laughs> nothing that I've ever experienced. The viewers get to see an entire trial, and then the viewers looking at it as jurors. So at the end of the trial, it is America, whoever's viewing, gets to decide the verdict. Do you vote in favor of the plaintiff or the defendant? So how do you decide? Do you, you know, search your heart? You deal with your own belief system, right? You pull that together and then you make a decision. So it'll be interesting to see how America votes and decides on these cases. Are you, how did, I mean, you're going to be going on national television on a show that comes on uh, once a week. Uh, you are going to be a celebrity. Did you ever think that you would be a star on a national show? The last thing on my mind was that I would end up in some sort of court show, <laughs> reality court show, unscripted on a major network. It's, it's just, it just, my goodness, like what the heck just happened? But it did. And, and it's just something I find exciting. Uh, I have no idea where this will lead. This may be it, which is fine. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely fine because I, it just wasn't anything I decided when I was a theater major in college, oh, I'm going to be on TV. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. So uh, it still involves the law. Uh, it still involves using the rules of law in the courtroom, but it now bringing it to the country to say this, you know, our court system, it's an amazing system and you should be involved. And this is one way that you can be involved. What do you think about it having that kind of American Idol slant where it goes out to everybody, anybody can call in and votes on it? And... Well, it's clearly unique. I mean, nothing like this has ever been done. So, and it's clear, it's not how the system really works, right? If you're going to be on a jury, you're asked questions by, by the judge and by both the lawyers. And that's how, you know, it's, it selects out people who maybe have biases one way or the other. So we're not, we're not doing that. But I still think that it engages people. And what we want, particularly in the court system, is more civic engagement. And the only way to do that is by jury service, by jury duty. But Cordell says this will be jury duty unlike anything you've seen. The attorneys are among the top in the nation, and the cases are cutting edge. You, you mentioned it's not a judge show. We're used to seeing, you know, somebody like Judge Judy ruling about a rent, you know, rent that's owed or a deposit or something like that. These are really these are issues that are of national concern. That's exactly right. And it's not to belittle the cases where people are suing over money owed because they, the landlord kept the deposit and they think they should have it back. Mm -hmm. It's not to belittle that. That's important to those people. And those are the small claims cases. These are cases, as you've noted, of national interest. So, for example, can I give you one example? Absolutely. So there's a, a case that involves two men who are gay and they want to get married and uh, they ask a, another person to provide some food for the wedding and that person declines to do so based on his religious beliefs that no I can't just partake or be a participant in any way in a gay marriage because it's against my religious beliefs. So you have the civil rights issue on the one hand of a gay couple and their right to marry mm -hmm. and on the other hand you have a person who says I have my religious freedom and what I do uh, it follows whatever my religion says. So there's these two very interesting issues. So when you hear the opening statement on one side, you might think, oh, of course, the plaintiff should win. And then when you hear the opening statement from the other side, you're saying, well, of course, the defendant should win. So it really is going to be very interesting because these are not clear-cut cases. For Judge Cordell, this bench on a Hollywood set is a long way from her days as a trial attorney in the 1970s. Fresh out of law school, she struggled to find work. 
I had this big afro, <laughs> and I wasn't going to cut my afro, and it was huge. It was bigger than Angela Davis's, if you can picture. Um, and I, I just couldn't get a job. I mean, law firms would actually say, and one partner in a big law firm in San Francisco said to me, oh, we're, we're not about to hire a black woman. Can you believe that? Wow. Uh, it, I was just stunned by it, and all I could do was find a way where there seemed to be no way. So she opened her own firm in East Palo Alto, followed by stents as a dean at Stanford Law School, and finally a judge. Her life, she says, is a lesson in marching to your own tune and expecting the unexpected. I have had uh, and continue to have a very interesting life. If you, if you just look at the kind of the twists and turns of my career, mm -hmm. um, but all I, I dare say, based on two things, giving back, because that was not said to me by my parents, it was demonstrated by them, and the other is just being prepared. Mm -hmm. so, you know, the education, reading, uh, getting the skills you need, because you just never know what may happen. amazing woman with an incredible story. I loved talking to her. You, the jury premieres Friday, April 7th on Fox. Check your local listings for details. And coming up, Red Bay coffee and some serious knowledge that will change the way you drink and think about your morning cup when Black Renaissance continues right after this.